What is up guys, Vexenator bringing you my first Photoshop tutorial. So today I'm going to show you some tips and tricks for how to properly edit a YouTube banner. Now this isn't a full tutorial so I won't be showing you how to add text and pictures and all that kind of stuff. I'll just be showing you the basic things you need to know and the format that it needs to fit in. So before I get started, please download this PSD, there'll be a link in the description and you can open up your Photoshop and follow along with me uh, as I go through this. So just click to download it, pause the video and just you can see it then and it'll just be a bit clearer as to what I'm actually doing. Now first things first is these blue lines here. So before I actually explain what they are, if you don't know these will not save when you save this as a JPEG or a PNG. When you export your image these blue lines will disappear and they will not show up. So these are basically just guides which is a feature in Photoshop. Now what these ones that I've put here are to show you where the different regions of your banner are. Now what these regions are is, depending on your device, YouTube actually cuts off some of the banner just to make it fit a bit better and be a bit clearer. So if you're on a standard desktop 16x9 monitor, you will see this whole thing. This whole strip here, it's all transparent, you'll see all of that, the whole image. But if you're on a tablet, say, it'll cut off from this line here to this line here. So you're losing that little square and that little square. But if you're on a mobile, you'll see even less. So you'll see from this line to this line. Now it's very important to keep this in mind when you're editing your banners or when you're you know, designing your own whatever. Because if people are on mobile and half of your banner gets cut off or half of your name gets cut off, it doesn't look very good and it's just very unclear and very unprofessional. So whenever you're editing a banner, you want to make sure it fits in this zone. Now I've put an example of one of mine in this file and if we enable this here, you can see the name clearly fits into this region and the soldier pretty much fits on there. A little bit of his arm cut off, but that doesn't really matter. The important bits of the image are all clearly within the mobile area. Now the banner keeps going. Don't just leave these blank because that will look even worse. But just, they're not very important things. They're just the background. You can, this is just plain clouds and this is a bit of a ship. It's nothing important. It's not the main part of the image. So whenever you're doing that, just keep this in mind. I see a lot of people that don't do this and I haven't even done it in a lot of my old videos and a lot of my old templates. But just remember, make sure because if people can't see it all on mobiles or tablets, it's really annoying. I see a lot of people with standards like this. So if you're going to put in the work, you can put the effort, just make sure people can see it. Now, if we get rid of this, and you can see here it's written down. So that's just what this uh, top folder is. It's just labeling each of these lines. So you can just get rid of that. And the last part in this file is these black bars. So basically, as I said, on each device, this is what you'll see, this strip. Now on TV, or at least some smart TVs, you'll see the whole square, but very few people use TVs, and when I check my smart TV, I actually see the mobile version, I just see this little bit. So, uh, it's just very unimportant, don't worry, just cover these black bars up, it's just clear to see what you're doing, and the most important devices will see this strip. So just leave those black bars on, whatever you're editing, you know, you can delete this folder and delete my example and then whatever work you want to do just put it below there now these blue lines if you're doing your work and you just want to you know see what you're doing properly just go up to view then go to show and just click on guides and they'll go away and this just allows you to kind of see what you're doing a bit better and make it a bit clearer for you and yeah that's pretty much it guys so hopefully this quick little tutorial has helped you made it a bit clear as to you know how youtube banners work and what all of the different lines and guides mean now, YouTube does have a tutorial on this, as I said, but it's a bit unclear, so hopefully this has made it a bit clearer to you. And remember to leave a like or a comment down below uh, letting me know that, because it's just great to know that you guys are enjoying my tutorials and that they are helping you. And you know, that's pretty much it, so like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye, guys.